So I'm going to go back to HDRP. And those are the basic maps you need for sub or for Unity uh, HDRP. Is those maps it's set up defaulting to put out. But sometimes you want more. Um, how do you get those those set up? And also, what is this nonsense right here? Well, you can change your output super fast and super easy by going to Output Templates and take a look. And if you look down this list, you'll see there's a Universal Render Pipeline, or I'm sorry, HD Render Pipeline and Metallic Standards. Let me move this over a little bit. You can see it's right there. Suppose you wanted to add something. And suppose you want to add something, but you don't want to modify your main one. Uh, all you would have to do is say this right here. It's to copying it. And if I copy it, it throws it at the bottom, and it's a new version. And we're going to say YouTube. Like that. So I have a new version. And then if I look over here, let's talk about what they're doing. So it says base map and let me pull this all the way up back here. Mesh, texture set, base map. So mesh is the name of the FBX. But anyway, so mesh is the dollar sign means take the name of the object. And then so usually what I do is I just delete this. I just don't put it in because it's extra information. So I just delete that out. And then I come over here and it says texture set name. Now this is interesting because it's based off of what you've named your object's texture or the set, right? Okay, so now we have the, what they are exported by their names. So right up here, you'll see output maps, and it's going to say gray, RGB, RG, R plus G plus B, and RGBA, and R plus G plus B plus A. What that means is it's going to just use the black and white map to export out. So if I pick that, if I click on it, you'll see it makes this new grayscale map, and, and it's right there. And it's I just have to link what it's going to, and we'll talk about that in a second. Or... I can go RGB and you'll see it's just an RGB channel or I can put RGBA and it'll say RGB which is one texture so it's the color and then the alpha channel which is like what we saw up here for this it's just the color channel plus the alpha and then this one's a little bit different and this is what we're seeing right here it means that each channel has its own well actually it's this one's what we're seeing up there each channel has its own input these are all the inputs that we're getting so um, if I'm just going to do it by hand, that's what I do. So I'm going to close this up. But then we look at each of these and they're all different color. That color, if you can notice over here, corresponds to the colors being used on the export right here. So all we're talking about is R metallic and G, which is mixed AO, right? And B, which is not being used. But if I had a detail map, it would be from somewhere. I've actually yeah and then uh, glossiness which is right here so how do I make my own how do I add my own well, suppose I wanted to add in something like a separate um, map for diffuse just because I want to have a diffuse alpha or if we look at uh, universal render pipeline we'll go albedo alpha just to show you from scratch. If I was going to do one from scratch, all I do is say, um, click on it, you saw me do it earlier, RGB plus A, it adds that in there. And then I come up here and I say uh, base color, which is the same as albedo. It's just the different terminology for it. And I can grab it and throw it in there. And then I say from RGB channel, because I want it to be a color picture from the color information. If I say from a gray channel, it's only going to give me the gray information. It's going to slap it down into one color or two colors. So, and then I come to opacity and I drag an opacity right there. And I say from gray channel, because it's a black and white, it's opacity map. And there you go. And now when I export, you'll see that I have that same thing. It'll just be a duplicate of what I have up here. But you can see in here, I can do a bunch of different ones and you can get into doing some customized stuff too. You can even put out the mesh maps, which if you didn't know, are these when you bake your stuff, this is your mesh map. So you can get your normal, your ID, your ambient occlusion, your curvature, all this stuff. Anyway, so that's what you do when you're exporting. When we're exporting for HDRP, we want to get a, that, that map. And let me show you what it actually looks like. I'm not going to say what I did here. And this is a old school thing um, using... Um, let me open... This is the reason you don't want everything listed out. Um, I'll go to base map. No, I'm sorry, mass map. 
Let's talk about this. So this is what you'll see when you open it. I know it looks weird, but it's because it's saved as a ping. Um, if I come in here, if you want to get the alpha out of here, which is oftentimes what you want to do, they put this in here a while ago, and I didn't even know it was here, but it's a layer mask, and then you come down to from transparency, because this is all transparent built into it. You go layer mask from transparency, and if you look, this is the mask that it made for me, and that should look very similar to what you would expect the metallic um, or the smoothness map looks like. So I just go Control A, Control C. This is if you need to edit it when you get it out here. And then um, usually what I'll do is just delete it. So I'll right click and say Delete Layer Mask, and then I'll come to Channels, I'll add a new channel, and I'll say Paste, and it pastes in that what I just had, and now we get something that looks more familiar. So it's all set up, that's it. That's exporting out of uh, Substance Painter and some of the settings to get it all set up for HD uh, render pipeline or even URP if you need. And that's the general exporting from Substance Painter. Yeah, have a good one.